Welcome to Kadena. As far as our opening hand goes, yeah, I like this. We do have an we have an answer for a cluttered board state. Uh, we will keep on this one. I just got done playing against Selvala. And so, which if you, you know, typically Selvala in 1v1 commander is like mono green cutthroat. And so then now we're playing against Azusa, which can kind of be mono green cutthroat. So let's have some fun. Hopefully we can squeeze this one out. And having a board wipe, I feel a lot better because that gives us an option to just kind of hit the reset button if our opponent gets off to a pretty wild start. So we're going to, oh, and especially, <laughs> you know, you're in for a treat when you're playing against an all foil Azusa. So, uh. We'll see what's in store for us. Hopefully we can get this one, squeeze a win out with this one. So run into Path of Disco. And I think at this point, what we'll probably end up doing is just leading off with Opulent Palace. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, just because we don't really have to worry about any sort of hand disruption for our opponent. And then at this point, yeah, the next time we can go for Mana Crypt and go for Wilderness or Path, and then uh, we'll be in a good spot. So let's pass it over to our opponent. We're playing Kadena, uh, Slinking Sorcerer. Um, the first face-down creature spell you cast each turn costs three less to cast. Then whenever a face-down creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Playing against Azusa, Lost But Seeking. I uh, mean, play two and additional lands on each of your turns. So... There we go. Uh, cover both commanders. Give a quick shout out to our sponsors, MTGO Traders. If you want to be one of the morph tokens uh, for Kadena, hey, head on over there. We want to cash in some card draw for you. Um, and Kadena would certainly love to have you. And then, you know, maybe we can turn you into some insect tokens off of one of the uh, morph creatures. Can't remember the name of it, but we can certainly make you be that, which would be pretty cool. And we rip into a forest. So I guess at this point, we still, yeah, because we want to get this down pretty quick. Wilderness, Wilderness Reclamation is nice, but at this point, I'd rather go for Path of uh, a Disco. I think that would be better. So let's go Scalding Tarn. Um, scrap ourselves a blue source, because that's something we definitely don't have. and don't want to goof up this one. Let's grab Tropical Island. Let's go Mana Crypt, and let's go for uh, Path of Disco. Uh, it's going to be green, green, and then double off of Mana Crypt. Have that come down, and then I uh, pass it over to opponent. But yeah, be sure to check out MTGO Traders. Also, shout out to InkGaming.com. You can use coupon code JOLT to get 10% off anything off the website. So if you've been playing against Mono Green Competitive and you're getting stomped out by Aldrazi, hey, head on over there. Um, you can grab whatever you want to kind of treat yourself. And last but not least, I started a Patreon. So if you'd like to contribute to the Patreon, there's a link down in the description below. Get your name at the beginning or the ending of the credits uh, to help support cool content like this. And if you can't do that, hey, uh, no problem. Just tell somebody about the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So there we go. Opponent's going to have a force in the hand, which they haven't played yet. So we do know that's one of the cards in their hand. And uh, we'll see what's in store for us. With that Sanctum of Ugin, uh, we do need to watch out for that. So let's go and choose Tails on this Mana Crypt trigger. One the flip. We are one for one on those bad boys. And then there we go. Run into a morph creature. So um, I think at this point, we just go for it. So we go probably end up going Swamp. That'd be good. All right, let's go Kadena. And that's going to be, well, either way, we're going to have to tap down um, Ancient, not Ancient Tomb, but Mana Crypt. And that's going to be one, two. So we're going to get the uh, Explore Trigger from Kadena. And then, ooh, yes, we definitely want that on top of our library. So, and then we go for Chrome Shell Crab. We're going to cast that face down. And yeah, we're going to put Path of Discovery on top because we want to draw into uh, Hermit. That's going to be Explore. That's going to be Flooded Strand, which is really nice to get in the hand. And then anything else, pass it back over to our opponent. So kick it back over there. Um, now with the Morph, so with Chrome Shell, and I'll be honest, hey, if I miss something during this video, it's probably been, you know, if you go back into my playlist and see the last time I played Kadena, which is whenever kind of Commander 19 released, uh, that's how long I, it's been since I've played Kadena. Um, in a perfect world, I would, uh, you know, play test these decks three or four times, then go for a record. But, um, but yeah. Don't really have a... Oh, an opponent's going to pop our Opulent Palace, which, yeah, that's not the end of the world. Um, So we've got Swamp. I think what we'll do is we'll just end up grabbing... We do need another Black Source. We're going to grab another Swamp, Um, have that come down, and then we'll be okay. But yeah, you know, if there's little interactions that I miss, hey, you know, it's been a minute since I've played this deck. So with Chrome Shell Crab, um, when it's turned faced up, exchange control of target creature and opponent controls and target creature... You control... Okay, yeah, this is going to be great. So we're going to definitely use Chrome Shell Crab... <laughs> <laughs> and our opponent is going to be popping our lands. Um, let's grab... Where are they? How are they playing lands out of here? All right, so let's go and grab a forest. Yeah, you may play two additional lands on each of your turns. I forget where that field of runes coming from. Oh, Life from the Loam. There we go. So they got Life from the Loam. Okay, I was like... I was 
doing commentary. I was like, where did that come from? Now, with them going for Field of Ruin, eh, it's not going to be the best for us. So uh, we want the flip, so we're going to have to watch out for that because it's going to be very hard for us to uh, combat, um, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so let's go for Flooded Strand. We're going to crank Flooded Strand, and we're going to grab ourselves another blue source. So let's go ahead and grab Breeding Pool. Uh, we're going to shock that one in. We can go for the morph off of Chrome Shell Crab, and that's going to allow us to make a few extra land drops, which if they're going to go for that, yeah, kind of, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, let's go for that. That's going to be blue. That's going to be one, two. And um, that's just going to give them a three, three dude over there, which we're A-OK -okay with. Uh, so we're going to go Chrome Shell Crab. Uh, we're going to exchange control of, uh, yeah, and then Azusa. That way we can just make a few extra land drops. Gonna, yes, definitely use that ability. Um, let's go Nurturing Peat Land. Let's go Forest. Uh, <laughs> look at that value. Uh, let's cast this face down to cash in an extra card draw. And I think at this point we'll go for, because the land's going to go into the hand. So we might as well... Yeah, so we'll put Path of Discovery on the stack uh, to go off first. So uh, Sky Shroud Claim... Yeah, I think we're good with that, because that's going to be two extra lands. Um, draw an extra card, Sky Shroud Claim. Unfortunately, there's nothing else that we can do. So let's just do this. So let's just go and pass the turn to our opponent. And we'll go and swing in with Kadena. That's going to be a full four body. And uh, swing across, and then be in a good spot. Now, luckily, we did run into that um, Sky Shroud Claim, uh, which is very good for us. Because with this Sky Shroud Claim, that's going to allow us to kind of dodge that Field of Ruin. Um, they've gotten rid of the option to get that extra land drop down with Field of Ruin, which is going to be very good for us. And so we're going to go and swing in with a 4-4 and see if they want to make this trade. And then if not, then I will pass it over to our opponent. Okay, so that's going to be 4 commander damage. That puts them down to 25. And then uh, we're good to go. Now, we, we could have saved Chrome Shell Crab to grab an Eldrazi. You know, there's more than likely there's an Eldrazi hanging around in here because we see a Sanctum of Ugin over there. But, um... You know, if we don't do that, then we just get hit with Field of Ruin, Life from the Loam, and that is going to be so hard for us to bounce back from. It's just going to be almost impossible um, for us to build up anything, especially them popping all of our blue sources. So um, now if they want to keep doing it turn after turn, yeah, that's fine, because I feel like we can build up a little bit of a better board state a little bit quicker than they can. So um, let's grab a non-basic, and luckily we do have a pretty good chunk of basics in here. Uh, so we're going to grab another island. And that's going to keep us open, too. And once we end up getting down uh, Wilderness Wreck, we don't really have anything at instant speed that we can really go for. But um, at least with Seedborn Muse, that allows us to untap. And then Wilderness Wreck, which is going to be just absolutely just nuts. So with uh, Hermit, we get a few extra uh, little tokens on the battlefield. Yeah, that, that would be a way that we can take advantage of Wilderness Wreck. So let's go and choose Tails on this bad boy. Um, lost the flip. And we run into Worldly Tutor. Okay, so at this point, if we end up going Sky Shroud Claim, that's going to be green, one, two, three. That's going to be two lands that come into play on tap. That still keeps us open on the Hermit, uh, which is a good option for us. So I think let's do that. So let's go Sky Shroud Claim, because I just want to get enough lands on the battlefield to where our opponent's like, this is probably not worth our time. So we're going to go Bayou. Um, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Which that still keeps us open on Seedborn and Worldly Tutor. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, we're going to pay two life. And it's going to put us down to 21. In fact, we can go for Hermit, but we're going to get the untap. Yeah, so that's going to be good for us. So and that's going to be green, tap down for blue. And at this point, even if they do pop our island, we've got a couple more islands in there. Uh, we're going to get the Explore option. And we can go for a plus one counter, but yeah, I kind of like to see if this is going to be a, uh, ooh, skin thinner. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we're going to put that on top of our library. And then that'll still keep us open on Worldly Tutor, whatever we ended up going for. Um, let's go and push in with a Kadena again. Uh, that's going to be a full four body. That's going to be eight total commander damage. We do get into a spot to where with Worldly Tutor, we can try to jam. Do we have, we got Thunderfoot Bayloth, and that might be enough to kind of close this one out, so we'll see. Um, I didn't end up running Crater Hoof in here. I kind of wish I did, but you know, sometimes uh, with these different decks, you know, if I jam Crater Hoof into every single green deck that I play, it kind of becomes repetitive. Um, so we don't have um, Crater Hoof in here um, at this point, so kind of the replacement effect for that is going to be Thunderfoot Bayloth. So we're going to try to go for Thunderfoot Bayloth. That'll uh, be a pretty good option. Uh, we do have that Morph Creature on top of our 
our library that allows us to destroy a creature whenever it's flipped up. Um, that would be nice to have, but if we need to set up a worldly tutor instead, I think that might be a little bit better option for us. So, all right, they're going to cash in a card draw with Arch. And if this is what they're going for, I, I really like this because that's going to be pretty good for us. If they do want to mess up uh, what's on top of our library with Field of uh, Ruin, uh, they certainly could. But if they're just going to pass the turn, um, I kind of like going for this. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this. So we're going to go for the morph. We're going to turn it up for its morph cost. It's going to be one, two. I'm going to tap down for blue. And we're going to get four sapling tokens. Oh, look at this. This is just exactly what we wanted to see. And we're going to get some wonderful explore option. And then we'll still be able to end up going for worldly tutor. Look at that. All right, we're going to put that on top of the library. We're going to be able to buff all of these up on top. These buff little sapling tokens have been working out. Yes, we go. Now we're going to go for... All right, Puddles can scoop it up on this one. Game's not over yet, but uh, when you're playing against mono green competitive and apparently um, a little bit of the advantage goes to you, that's enough for them to scoop it up. So anyway, good game to our opponent. Um, we've got Worldly Tutor coming down, uh, so we're going to end up being able to go for Worldly Tutor. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a Thunderfoot Bayloth, and that's going to allow us to kind of pump up the entire board state and then close it out from there. So we're able to defeat... The, uh, the land destruction is always a good feeling, and it just kind of takes a little bit of convincing with the Zuza uh, to join our side of the battlefield. So if you enjoyed the video, hey, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.